You've all heard of Has Been Hotel and Hell of a Boss. Whether you're a long-time fan, seen it on the YouTube trending tab, or are completely new to both shows, you'll probably find yourself interested in a huge amount of lore and trivia. Both shows have a ton of interesting characters, deep lore, and loads of mystery, which got me thinking about making an iceberg video. If you don't know what an iceberg video is, it's a great way of compiling information and theories about a topic, providing greater insight into any sort of media you might be interested in or eager to learn about. The iceberg goes in descending order with different tiers, at the tip of the iceberg, you have the surface level knowledge that the average viewer would know, while at the bottom you have crazy theories and other nonsense. Both Hasbun Hotel and Hell of a Boss are ongoing shows with developing lore and characters, so keep that in mind that parts of the lore may change in the future. The Morning Star Family. The Morning Star Family includes Charlie, Lilith, and Lucifer. Charlie is the Princess of Hell, with her parents Lilith and Lucifer being King and Queen of Hell, respectively. The family name was originally Magni in the pilot, however, after Charlie's redesign, her surname was changed to Morning Star instead. Charlie's parents were seen in a brief cameo in the Hasbun Hotel pilot within a painting. They're also featured when Charlie sends a voicemail to her mum in the pilot episode. Her parents will likely play a bigger role in future episodes in the series, and it'll be interesting to see how their lore and future influence will be revealed. Angel Dust's Addictions According to Angel Dust's lore in the pilot, he died of a drug overdose in 1947. His name, Angel Dust, is a slang term for PCP, which is a mind-altering drug that causes hallucinations, dizziness, and nausea. He also does cocaine. Based on his mention of consuming Bolivian marching powder in the pilot, Angel Dust's association with this drug is further displayed as his pet pig's name is Nuggets, which is a slang term for crack cocaine. Redesigns The main cast in Hasbun Hotel received redesigns in 2022. The characters who received new designs were Charlie, Alistair, Angel Dust, Vaggy, Husk and Nifty. I made a video ranking and discussing each new design which will be linked below. The characters with the most significant changes were Charlie, Vaggy and Nifty. Following on from that, in December of 2021, the original voice cast was changed. Some of the voice actors kept their roles with others like Angel Dust, Charlie's singing voice, Alistair's singing voice, Nifty, Cherry, Sir Pentius, Tom Trench and the Egg Boys all being announced as receiving new voice actors when the full show airs. Rings of Hell The Rings of Hell are the seven different rings that make up Hell's geography. So far we've seen four rings, which are the Pride Ring, the Greed Ring, the Wrath Ring, and lastly the Lust Ring. The last three rings, which will be shown in the future, will most likely be Wrath, Gluttony, and Envy. The Five Overlords Overlords are a class of powerful demons in Hell. Overlords are above regular sinners and place fifth in terms of power in Hell's hierarchy. The five confirmed overlords we've seen so far are Alistair, Vox, Valentino, Velvet, and Rosie. Valentino, Vox, Velvet and Rosie were seen briefly in the pilot but haven't had a speaking role yet. Since all four of them are overlords, they'll likely have a larger role in the future. Vox, Valentino and Velvet also had their own Instagram accounts before they were archived. The Yearly Exterminations Hell suffers from overpopulation, which the exorcists attempt to solve through mass genocides. As a result, they commit yearly exterminations of Hell's inhabitants. This leads to the start of the Hasbun Hotel pilot, where we see Charlie trying to offer an escape route to the exterminations by giving the less powerful demons a chance to rehabilitate and redeem themselves by checking into her hotel so they can try to escape to heaven. Hasbun Hotel and Hell of a Boss shared universe. As we all know, the two shows are in the same universe. However, both take an entirely different focus, with Hasbun taking a look into the higher class side of Hell, while Hell of a goes into the more low class. Vivzi has stated in the past that she wants Hasbun and Hell of a to be separate from each other. Although the chance of a crossover episode is unlikely to happen due to legal complications, since Hasbun Hotel was picked up by A24, this hasn't stopped some cool and interesting easter eggs to pop up in both shows. One of the first ones we see early on are prototype designs of Blitzo and Moxie, both of which can be seen in the Hasbun pilot. Similarly, in the Hell of a Boss pilot we see Luna watching Charlie's song from the pilot on the TV. Another nice continuous detail that stays consistent in both shows is the 666 news channel. Lastly, one of the newly found details was in the trailer where a poster of angel dust was seen. Easter eggs. Following on from my last point, since both shows have a shared universe, there's a ton of cool references in both shows. There's plenty of Reddit posts pointing them all out, and it's one of my favourite things about the shows. Every time you rewatch an episode, you'll notice something you didn't see before, and it's wonderful. Luna's age. In one of Vivzy Pop's live streams on her channel, she confirmed that Luna is 22 years old. Merch drops. These are one of the ways Vivzy and her team fund both shows. If you follow any of the official accounts, you'll be familiar with the merch drop notifications. Multiple times a year, usually corresponding with holidays, is when merch drops will happen. Items such as shirts, plushies, props, and playing mats will be sold. Signed prints are also sold occasionally during live streams. 
Blitzo's family. In the pilot, we can see a poster showing Blitzo's two family members, Tilla and Barbie Wire. In future episodes, the poster has been changed and now Tilla is absent. In part one of the season one finale, we saw Tilla and Barbie Wire on Blitz's phone. Blitz also wears the same necklace his mum used to wear. We may see her or Barbie Wire appear in future episodes. Instagram account drama. For those who don't know, there used to be Instagram accounts for each of the main characters in both shows. These were ran by people close to Vivzy Pop and they used to post cool art, lore, etc. Similar to how gimmick accounts operate on Twitter. However, since January 17th, 2021, most of the accounts affiliated with characters from Hasbun Hotel and Hello Boss have been archived due to the confusion of them being canon or not within the show. The only exceptions being Blitzo and Stolas. One of the reasons for this change was because people spam messaged the Octavia account, Real34Art and other questionable content. This made the owners feel threatened and as a result these accounts were archived. There was an account for Cherry Bomb as well which deactivated. Someone then stole the username and misled people into thinking they were official. This apparently continued until Instagram finally took the account down. I have an entire video dedicated to discussing these accounts which I'll have linked below if you're interested in the full story. Hell Society Pyramid In the hell of a has-been universe there exists a hierarchy based on power, with Lucifer, the king of hell at the top, with imps and hellhounds at the bottom. In the has-been pilot we saw how powerful Alistair was and he's just an overlord, so it'll be interesting to see how powerful Charlie's parents will be in future episodes. Charlie x Alistair Charlistor is one of the most popular ships in the fandom. It was one of the first Hasbun Hotel ships to be talked about among fans. Although Charlie is canonically dating Vaggy, Charlistor remains very popular. Stolitz This is the ship between Stolas and Blitz. It's one of the most discussed ships. There's been drama on sites like Twitter, YouTube and Reddit over the Stolitz ship. The main area of disagreement is over people saying that the story is too heavily focused on it. With most of the episodes featuring Stolitz elements, people say that other parts of the story are taking a backseat compared to Stolas and Blitz. Valentino and Angel Dust relationship Valentino is Angel Dust, Sugar Daddy and Boss. Although Angel has gone out of his way to help Valentino with business and such, Valentino is extremely aggressive and controlling towards him for simply being out of the studio. This is heavily substantiated by the Addict music video. Valentino forces Angel to kiss him and is revealed to have raped him once, showing that Valentino is also sexually abusive towards Angel. It hinted that Valentino doesn't care about Angel's well-being since he forced Angel to work after the extermination was over, not caring if the exorcists were still out there looking for more inhabitants. Animation errors. These are errors or glitches that appear in some episodes of Hell of a Boss. They don't take away from the episode, but it's funny to see sometimes. The episode featuring the most of these was the pilot, the most notable being Luna's eyes changing colours multiple times throughout the episode. Blitz's past. Blitz has a troubled backstory. We've received bits and pieces of lore throughout season 1 and the first episode of season 2. The most notable thing being that most of Blitz's relationships have fallen apart, especially his relationships with Fizzarali and his ex-girlfriend Ferocica. Fizzarali's arm. Fizzarelli has two mechanically jointed arms that resemble those of Robofizz. In episode 1 of season 2, we saw young Fizzarelli and his arms were normal, so this means that during some point between then and current day, he lost his arms. Millie's family. In the Harvest Moon episode of Hell of a Boss, we saw Millie's family. We also got introduced to her sister, Sally May, who had a speaking role. In the background, two of Millie's brothers can be seen. Importance. In this show, female imps tend to have black horns, while male imps have black and white striped horns. This theory isn't 100% confirmed, but there's some substantial evidence to back up the fact that each gender has their own horn appearance. One example being Sally Mae. She is trans and has black and white striped horns. Alistair and Lucifer are the same person. This is a theory that Alistair is the persona of Lucifer, a disguise he takes on so he may act as he pleases without anyone recognizing him because of his sudden appearance vast power and chaotic nature. In the pilot, there's a scene where Alistair is admiring a family portrait. The two of them look remarkably similar. Sinners are sterile. This is a lesser known fact that sinners aren't able to reproduce. Hellborn demons have the ability to traverse across any of the rings, whereas sinners turned demons are confined to the topmost ring, the pride ring. White scars. This is a popular theory that when imps take damage, it will leave a white scar on their body. If we take a look at young Blitz, he has no white spots visible, however in current day he has a ton. For example, Blitz received an arm wound in episode 1 and later on we see that that wound has left a white scar. Old 2015 designs. 
Over the years, the designs of the Hasbun cast have changed dramatically. For those who didn't know, many of the characters featured in Hasbun Hotel were previously a part of Vivzi's webcomic series called Zephobia. This image is from when the characters were part of Vivzi's Zephobia series. As you can see, some of the designs look cursed, especially Vaggie's. It's interesting to see how the characters have changed over time into the cast we know and love today. Serpentius' son. During the pilot, Angel Dust said this funny phrase. This joke combined with Serpentius' response raises questions about the identity of his son. Given the fact that he was oblivious to sexual innuendos, potentially due to the time period he came from, it's quite likely that he is a long lost son. Who was he? What does he look like? Perhaps we'll find out in future episodes. Vaggy is a fallen exterminator. Vaggy shares some noticeable similarities between herself and the exterminators. Both Vaggy and the exterminators have an X for one eye. Vaggy has a spear that looks to be made out of the same material as other exterminator weapons. She knows a lot about Hell, as in knowing about Alistair, his backstory, true nature, and knows what actions are redeemable and which ones are not, and yet, so far as I know, the character with the least amount of living experience in Hell. One contrary fact to this theory is that Vaggy died in 2014, meaning that she was once human. Vipsy Pop has confirmed that exterminators are not exactly robots, however they do wear LED screen masks on their faces, so this theory does have some likelihood of being true. Stolas is Grimoire. This is the book that Stolas loans to Blitz as a trade for having sex with him. It allows Blitz to create his imp business, and we see in multiple episodes the member using the book to enter the living world. However, this raises questions about what other powers the book holds, and what terrifying effects IMP could have on the living world, if they did decide to broaden their horizons past assassinations. Hellhounds are sold into slavery. This is the theory that hellhounds and imps are similar to droids in the Star Wars series, and that they're seen primarily as second class citizens or even outright slaves by more privileged groups of hell. We know imps are slightly lower on the societal food chain based on information in Hell of a Boss. Perhaps this is why Luna, despite not wanting to admit it, genuinely appreciates being seen as a member of the IMP family, as the alternative reality she could be living in might not be so pleasant. Luna doesn't have syphilis. It is only referenced in the pilot when Blitz wanted to celebrate the anniversary of her adoption. Her intent was to put Blitz in an awkward position when he tried to yet again get closer to her. This is also suggested in the episode Spring Broken, when all in all she seems somewhat socially awkward outside of the IMP dynamics, even going as far as saying she doesn't have friends. Part 2 of the Season 1 Finale Part 2 of the Season 1 Finale was meant to come out shortly after the first part. However, Vivzi had to do an announcement saying the episode was indefinitely delayed. Part of the episode was shown in the trailer along with a sneak peek at a specific scene on Patreon. All of this points to the episode being nearly finished. I covered this in one video in particular, but the main theory about why the episode was delayed was due to copyright. Blitz and Stryker are higher imps. Blitz has unique spikes and is also taller than other imps. Stryker also said that him and Blitz are more superior than the rest of their kind pointing to the idea that they might be higher imps. Similarly, there is evidence to suggest that Blitz is a demon of lust. My theory is that Blitz and Stryker are imp hybrids. One parent was an imp, and the other was a different demon species. I think Blitz may be half imp slash succubus, and one of Stryker's parents was some sort of serpent demon. Rule 34 if you've been around the fandom for any stretch of time, you've most likely run into NSFW art of some of the characters. Back when I made my first ever Hell of a Boss video on Luna, I knew she'd be popular because she was immediately my favourite of the cast just from first glance. However, the amount of NSFW art, videos, and other content made about her and other characters in both shows is insane. There's entire subreddits and Twitter accounts dedicated to posting and archiving that stuff, with follower counts in the thousands. Real 34 content is so common now that any time a new character is revealed in the show, there's NSFW art depicting them within a few hours. It's become a running gag in the community, with Vivzi herself appealing to the Real 34 art by making lewd pins on merchandise. Hell of a Hotel General Hell of a Hotel General is a daily thread on the trash board of 4chan. The thread has been going on for 1072 days so far. They usually discuss both shows and lore, however what usually happens is that 70% of the thread is porn, with the rest being random political discussions and drama. I've seen images and videos of mine linked there before, which is funny to say. Sharab was rushed. This is the theory that Sharab was a rushed episode. The three major reasons supporting this theory is that 1. The episode was released only one month after the episode prior. 2. There are some animation errors present. And 3. The Shrub concept isn't that well executed. Shrub is one of my least favourite episodes personally, so the episode being rushed would explain some of its shortcomings. Bad actors and drama. With both shows having such large audiences, it was inevitable that there would be some bad actors in the community. 
I did a video covering a couple of them, but the TLDR is that there are multiple YouTubers such as Greenlean Moxie and NTSG Live that leaked Vivzy's Patreon content, among other horrific things. My video on them will be linked below if you're interested. Another example would be a person called Linkar Rocks. There's a 28 minute video documenting the story, but basically this person stalked Vivzy Pop for months. They also leaked Patreon content, did tests for has been, and stole art, among other things. Abandoned channels. The two channels I'm mentioning in this section is Hasbun Fanworks and Honeybun Dubs. Hasbun Fanworks is the largest Hasbun Hotel specific account sitting at 200,000 subscribers. They got big from posting comic dubs, songs from the show and other similar content. If you check their channel today, they barely upload videos about the show with random gaming videos and other irrelevant content. If you check their Twitter or community posts, a situation emerges where someone named Crowley apparently hijacked the channel. The community posts then say how the team managed to get the account back, however they are going through legal procedures so they won't discuss it further. This situation more or less explains why video uploads became infrequent and why they rarely do has been related content. It's quite bizarre. There was a video about it, however it's since been taken down. If anyone knows anything about this situation, I'd love for you to reach out in the comments. One other channel is one by the name Honey Bun Dubs. Like the name suggests, Honey Bun Dubs did comic dubs and other similar videos. They reached 118,000 subscribers on YouTube. However, in January 2021, they suddenly stopped uploading for no reason. I wasn't able to find any info why, but it's a bit odd how all the has-been channels seem to go inactive eventually. Unreleased characters. Since there's only been one episode of Hasbun Hotel, I wanted to mention some characters that have been shown by Vivzy in the past, but haven't had a speaking role yet. A couple of them make cameos in the pilot, but since it was a short pilot, we weren't able to hear them speak or play a significant role just yet, so take this with a grain of salt. Since Hasbun Hotel has been picked up by A24, there's no guarantee that any of these characters will make an appearance, and if they do, their designs will likely look very different, but that will probably be alongside other major changes that comes with the territory of being picked up by a studio. First, we have Baxter, he's an angler fish demon. He's also described as an inventor and mad scientist. Crimini is an anthropomorphic demon who looks very similar to Luna, although she's actually a sinner, not a hellhound. She was originally planned for Fizzy's Zephobia series, but was scrapped. We got a brief glimpse at Crimini in the background of the husband pilot, Helsa von Eldritch. She's an Eldritch demon and is supposed to be Charlie's main rival in the series. We see her and her family on a painting in the background of the pilot. It'll be interesting to see how her rivalry with Charlie pans out in the show. Saviathan von Eldritch. Saviathan von Eldritch is the brother of Helsa and Charlie's ex-boyfriend. He's seen with Helsa in the family portrait in the background of the husband pilot and also in a prom photograph with Charlie. Mimsy. Mimsy is a singer and club owner. She briefly makes a cameo in the pilot during Charlie's song. Arachnus. Arachnus is Angel Dust and Molly's older brother. He hasn't appeared in the show yet, but our Vizzy Pop has confirmed that he still exists in the universe and will likely appear in the future. Henroin. He's Angel Dust's father. Not much else is known apart from a sketch, though he may have been shown in the Addict music video. Molly. She is Angel Dust's twin sister and Arachnus' younger sister. She is yet to make an appearance in Hasbun Hotel. Rue. She was first revealed in a doodle from Vivzy Pop on October 19th, 2019. Not much else is known apart from a sketch. Villa. She is a character from an early version of Hasbun Hotel. It's unknown if Villa is still canon in Hasbun Hotel, let alone if she'll appear in the show itself. That's all for the iceberg. I hope you enjoyed it. If you've stuck it out for the whole four tiers, I hope you learned something new, whether you're a long time fan of both shows or a new viewer. Like I said in the intro, both shows are ongoing, so some aspects may change. If there's a ton of new information and lore revealed in the future, I'll make a part two. Lastly, I'd like to give a massive shout out to my friend Iox for helping with the video. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.